Let me get my eyes in focus. Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I'm the light. I'm back with another one. God bless. Happy Sunday. Sunday going on 11 o'clock in my hood. Pretty quiet day so far. God is so good. Mm -hmm. So I made some um beef tips and rice. I don't like it. <laughs> I couldn't do beef tips so long. I'm so sick of it. I was seeing all these great salad ideals. I love me a good salad. But in the city I live in or wherever, I mean, I can't afford to go to fancy restaurants right now and buy me a $45 salad. But I do love salads. And it's really expensive to eat healthy. Um, I'm not feeding the cats anymore. So it looks like the garbage disposal is going to be getting fed real good today. I wouldn't even feed this to the homeless folks. I wouldn't. I tried it already, and it's 11. Uh, after it finished and cooled off, I wanted to see how it came out because it took forever to cook it. And I was not pleased. My palate was not pleased at all with what I had partaked in. I hope this is reaching y'all all just, you know, I just hope everybody's fine. It's just what I feel in my heart today. <laughs> That's how I feel. Anyway. So I see some people have tried to make it known that they support me. And I surely, truly, truly appreciate it. And I did, got me a new friend request today that I just could not um, refuse to offer. Maybe I will uh, take a few friend requests if somebody wants to me to befriend, befriend them. Just hit me up. But at the same time, I might respond. I might not. I don't know if I don't. Don't take it like a bad thing. And I'm wondering if this really is the person that told me to ask them for a friend request because I don't know. But I'm like, what could it hurt if I did accept this person's friend re I mean, if I did um, ask them for a friend request, they accepted it. What if it's not really the person? But I have a feeling it really is. And with that being said, I see that you messaged me. I personally don't have messenger on my little rinky dink little uh five year old phone, but because it takes up too much space. And before my um right around the time my son passed away, I had decided to get rid of messenger because I was getting harassed by people just unbeknownst to me. Just these guys always trying to talk and hold a conversation with me. These were married men and all kinds of things. So. I just didn't feel the need to it. And then when my son passed, it was just a good idea to just keep it like that. So I could, I, I did, what I didn't know was I could actually read someone's messages. But as far as me um, um, responding back, I don't think I can. And I didn't even try. So I just posted something on my um, FB to let you know that you are appreciated. And I do find you to be a friend. See, what's so beautiful about a friend is, I didn't realize I got a friend in Jesus indeed. And what's so good about a friend is, I've made some of the best friends right here in the past year um, of doing these videos. And I haven't met not one of y'all, and y'all are but all so valuable to me. Mm-hmm. So, thanks for the friendships. Thank you for being my friend. You know what I mean? We travel down the road and back again. You're a pal and a confidant. And if I threw a party, I would invite all of you guys. I'd invite every one of you. You know what I'm saying? So, God bless. And thank you. Thank you so much for um, letting me know that um, you support me. Thank you. And hopefully one day I'll get to be in the good company of these good people, Lord. All of them are so marvelous and miraculous. You guys, you guys rock. These are all the ones that was on the floor for yesterday. This will take me the whole video. So it mess around and I'll do a part two. I didn't even bring. Yes, I did.
to see if I can remember what page I should have not have done that. I should have not have closed it. Because, I don't know, it was in the front somewhere. Pretty close in the front. God is good. And I, I made it a quick prayer. For the way I'm feeling today. If I can find it. Here it goes. Ah. Uh, I might have to cut this one short because here comes my son. And I got to go make a run. But I'm going to go ahead, if I can, do this before he comes. And that is say a quick little prayer and whatever I can stuff in a few minutes. Because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to let nobody distract me from what I come to do. And I want to say this prayer. I'm not going to say, oh, I got to go. And not do it. So anyway, let me get it in. God bless and respect the Lord. This is a prayer. That's the name of this prayer. This is a prayer for today. This prayer today comes from a humble heart. I come to pray for the earth and all the things living on it. The ones I despise and the ones that despise me. The ones I know about and the ones who know about me that I don't seem to know about. You better be happy I don't know about you though. Forgive me. Today, I pray for the hate we have against each other to be cured through the blood of Jesus. Because his power is the only power that can eliminate evil. I want to ask all of you at this time to agree with me in this prayer that lost souls need to come to Jesus. Do you all agree that lost souls that come to Jesus can be delivered? Touch each heart and cure the people of negative patterns that lead to trouble. Free them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. And if we all agree, we can do this. That is my prayer for today. Amen and amen. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do the energies. Then I'm going to come back with a sermon and a couple more probably prayers. So since I'm waiting on him to pull up, when he pulls up, I'll stop. But um, we got a flower child here, a free spirit, humble, caring, and a hippie. And that is moi. <laughs> um, I don't go picking, picking flowers and eating them or nothing, y'all. I'm not outside making love to strangers like, you know, they did in the 70s. The Woodstock. That's not the kind of hippie I am. Malice, desire to or intentions to do evil, evil will. Uh-huh. These are the ones from yesterday. I see now. Mm -hmm. I see now that the joy is within my heart. And the love that, com that comforts me can get me through any situation. It says, you're not crazy. Your intuition is right. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I don't know everything. Mm -mm. I don't know everything. A loving offer. This is what I wanted to say to you guys. Thank you for your loving offers of, of kindness and friendship. I want to say hi to little James. You're so inspiring. I see you had your uniform on and you and your pretty little lady good friend. Um, Y'all was about going back to school. Y'all was giving out courage and words. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the children inspiring. We got some great kids these days. Good, strong gentlemen. Protect your kids. Protect your kids. Raise your kids. Ask God to help you raise your children. Not the streets, but God. What else? Be deviled of someone or something bad cause great and con um, continual trouble to harass, torment, annoy, irritate, and pester. And finding yourself spiritually. It's not about religion. It's about your spirit. It's the only thing that lives beyond this body. 
it's really the only well your body it matters okay because you walk around in spirit your spirit lives within you or maybe the spirit might be on the outside making your body function but i just have to say you need to get into spirituality if you haven't yet go ahead and bust a book or two open or something Jesus speaking in parables, he granted understanding to those who are seeking after him, revealing truth to those who are willing to listen and um, fully consider what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Controversially, those whose hearts, wait a minute, I don't know that word, but it says, those whose hearts are hardened against him have the truth hidden from them. See, there's, they're trying to keep you so distracted. Buy this. You'll look good when you get this done to you. Uh, put this on. Get your eyelashes out to here so that you can lose your eyesight. Um, buy the longest hair you can find so you can trip on it, fall down, and, and uh, break your leg. Anything. But see, I got the right to say this natural. I washed it too, y'all. I washed it good. Hmm. Boink. No. Okay. <laughs> Hi, boy. Hi, Hansel. Let me get up in there. How you doing today? You know I'm going. You know I'm going flirt. I know it's Sunday, but you know I am the church, so. <laughs> I'm gonna flirt with Bay on the pulpit. Because he's my main man. God said I can because I'm so very proud of that man. <laughs> I love you, Bay. I love Bay, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, world. Hey, earth. Hey, I love Bay. <laughs> Submit to God and you will have peace. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards men. Not just men, women too. And the children. And the children too. I remember one time in my life, I was a little man crazy. But look, Jesus, Jesus fixed it. I only got eyes for one man, which I always only had eyes for one man, regardless of who I was dating. I always was always faithful. They just didn't deserve my faithfulness. And I let them do that to me. Look, a loss of a relationship. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Hi, Phoenix. Marvelous. You came up while I'm doing this, this message here. How beautiful. Beautiful Phoenix. Um, hey, here's the tea. Here's the tea, Phoenix. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in. I'm doing the work. I'm finding my true tribe. And Phoenix is a part of my true tribe. That's one of my, my day ones and one of my most favorite and valuable people um, on YouTube. I have arson here. Uh-oh. Oh, please don't let that man pop up. But that's more than one person. It's the energy of someone that's a criminal, that does criminal acts deliberately setting fires and property on fire. I know who used to do that a lot. The KKK. Yeah, y'all like to ride on, on horses with torches. So, y'all are the biggest, biggest, biggest arsonists out there. Y'all going to get jail time and y'all going to get caught up. Look at that. I don't think they need probation, Lord. I think they just need to go to jail and rot in there. Well, I got to go because here comes my son, but I'll come back with a part two. There's no limit when it comes to God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless. Be back one.